I'm Mike Hanewald, field agronomist with Bex Hybrid, standing out here in a wheat field. Um, today, as I record this, it's uh, May 10th, and I um, want to just uh, encourage you guys to get out and take a look at your wheat fields. Um, it's, uh, the wheat's really sneaking up on us. Um, we've already got heads starting to emerge, and so um, these heads are, are just starting to poke out. We're at um, you know, full flag leaf emergence at this point, and you can see that head is just starting to, to poke out there, and uh, that's pretty consistent as we look, look up and down the row here. Um, you can see see the start of that and this is something we normally wouldn't expect to see until we get um, into to late May. Normally we think about spraying fungicide you know um, towards the end of the month of May and uh, but this year we need to be thinking about it a little bit earlier. Um, why is that? I think it comes down to the the mild winter that we had. Wheat, wheat broke dormancy um, a lot earlier than what it normally does, uh, 10 days to two weeks in most cases and then um, in addition while wheat maturity isn't driven strictly by growing degree units, um, we, that's a good measure of heat um, accumulation, and we're about 130 GDUs ahead of where we would normally be on May 10th when you go back to uh, January 1st. So um, the wheat crop is, is advancing along um, very quickly. So uh, what do we need to do? Well, it's a PFR proven practice to apply a fungicide at flowering. Um, so how to define flowering is after the head is fully emerged, um, you can typically time it out three to five days, depending on temperatures. The warmer it is, the faster you'll move from full head emergence to, to flowering. Now, um, the heads that, that you just saw here in this field, um, this is not anywhere near full head emergence. We still have several days to go, um, but we need to be thinking about that. So when you, you see full head emergence three to five days later, flowering starts. And you can see there on your screen some, some wheat heads that I, um, from a picture I took last year um, where you can see the anthers out. You can see the, the pollen shed. And, uh, and see what that looks like. Those anthers are very small. It can be a little bit difficult to see, but when you see those anthers hanging off the wheat head, um, that, is, that's, that means your, your wheat crop's flowering, and that's the best time to spray, spray a fungicide. Now, um, the wheat head can actually tell you um, how flowering is progressing. And so um, the anthers will emerge first at the center of the head and then progress um, both up and down until that full, the anthers are out on the full length of the, of the head. And so if you just have anthers in the center, you're early in that flowering process. And flowering can take three to five days. So that's our typical window to get these applications made. Um, so remember from full head emergence to flowering is three to five days. And then you've got three to five days during flowering to get that, that fungicide application made. And the primary, th the primary thing that we're protecting against is um, fusarium head blight, which is what causes um, head scab or vomitoxin. And um, with us being wetter and damper this spring, um, there's a little bit more of a risk. And so I think it's going to be a year where it's probably going to be a good idea to um, try and get those applications made, made timely. Now we have three PFR proven fungicides um, that you can apply um, at this time. And, and there's obviously more on the market than just these three, but these are three that we've tested that have worked consistently. Um, Miravis Ace, Prosaro, and Caramba. Now Prosaro and Caramba are very specific timing that they need to be applied um, at, during, during that three to five day window at flowering. Uh, Miravis Ace, on the other hand, the label allows for an application from the beginning of head emergence all the way through flowering at that point, which gives you a lot more flexibility and a lot wider window. However, when we evaluated Miravis Ace in uh, PFR, you can see there on your screen that we had almost uh, double the return on investment if we hit it at flowering. And so while it still worked and it still made money um, when we sprayed earlier after head emergence, um, by waiting until flowering and hitting that three to five day window, we doubled our return on investment. So regardless of which fungicide that you use, I would encourage you to try and target that flowering window. Um, however, uh, Miravis Ace can give you a little bit more, more flexibility. So just wanna encourage you to get out, take a look at your wheat fields, see how you're progressing, because um, the wheat is a lot further along than what we typically see. And especially with us being a little bit wetter, there's a possibility of needing uh, to use a, an airplane for application or, or a helicopter or something aerial if it's too wet to get a sprayer across the field. And so just want you planning ahead on those applications. If you have any questions about this or any other agronomic topic, feel free to reach out to myself or your local BEX representative, and we'd be happy to help.